the particles can go very fast, hitting 99% the speed and of what light. what does the manifestation of that very fast moving particles look like? Is, this, no. is that the electric, is that the- it's, it's just a beam of particles, like typically protons, yeah. and you slam it into a target. Okay. And that creates an, a field of energy out of which brand new particles can form. And, and we harness that energy. For no, no, what? it's not for energy. It's for what new particles exist in this universe that we didn't know about before we turn on the switch. Okay, we have enough particles. Why do we need new particles? Because you always want more particles. Come on. What do you do? What are you doing with the new particles? <laughs> we need more because a new particle might explain something we didn't understand. Oh, okay. So okay. you're constantly in search. Yeah, of, yeah. Yeah, it's like what we were talking about on another show. So you never probing you never, the you never universe. Rest. Yeah, you never rest. So it came of age at that time, and. By the way, it's still the Cold War, early 90s. So under Reagan, we say, yes, let's start this project, superconducting super collide. They dig the hole. Oh, by the way, it would be the largest and most powerful super collider in the world. You dig a hole somewhere out Yeah, it's like, desert. I forgot the diameter, a couple hundred miles. Mm -hmm. I mean, huge. Yeah, it's the Meadowlands. That's so, what they did. It. Some states are not large enough to contain this collider, such as Rhode Island, all right? Which is where I'm from. You're from Rhode Island. That's my home state. You can't. Can, can the world stop making any small reference and compare it to Rhode Island? Can we all move on from that? If I hear it blankety blank twice the size of Rhode Island, I'm going to create my own super collider and zap you.